Here is the first look at a ride inside the Boring Company's Las Vegas tunnel, the last LVCC loop, as testing already begins for passengers at the Boring Company's Las Vegas loop. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel, like this video if you find it informative, and share in social media, please. So, Joey Klender has the details from Tesla Radi saying Elon Musk's Boring Company performed capacity testing in Las Vegas at its Las Vegas Convention Center loop, LVCC tunnel loop, yesterday as the uh, the city prepares to reopen with no restrictions on June 1st. In preparation for Las Vegas to welcome back travelers, visitors, and residents alike to the downtown area after over a year of quarantine, the Boring Company, is uh, owned by Tesla CEO Elon Musk, is preparing for the first days of operation with its newly constructed Vegas Loop, a public transportation option that aims to give travelers efficient express options to travel to and from the city's most popular hotspots. Now, a fleet of Model 3 and Model Y and Model X Tesla vehicles was on the ground in Las Vegas, and eyewitnesses estimate around 50 Tesla electric vehicles were a part of the testing phase. Additionally, less than 500 people were a part of the tests that aimed to give the Boring Company and the LVCC official some clear clarity on how the loop would run once the CD feels back up with people. Um, one eyewitness on the Boring Company subreddit gave several details about what they saw while the testing phase was ongoing. One of the most notable parts of the test was the contestant's loop of vehicles working on merging and coexisting so smoothly. This remains to be the most uh, crucial part of the LVCC loop's effectiveness because without smooth and uh, uneventful travel, the loop will not work efficiently. However, uh, this user said that boarding the vehicle and getting moving went smoother than expected. The Model X took the longest to board and get going while the Model Y was uh, unequivocally, uh, unequivocally the most efficient. Most cars were filled with three passengers plus a driver who controlled the vehicle manually through the tunnel. Uh, the uh, user said the vehicle traveled around 30 miles per hour through a uh, tunnel and around 39 miles per hour on uh, straightways. So um, you have been seeing a video thanks to a user uh, ironing95 on Imgur. Uh, the Boring Company also gave out souvenirs like Boring Company hats and some uh, guests even got to operate the Boring Company flamethrowers. Uh, if you're not familiar, you can look up that online. Now, as Las Vegas prepares to reopen on June 1st, there will be no restrictions on businesses or activities, according to KTNV, an NBC affiliate station in Las Vegas. Life is getting back to normal and it is expected to be busy, considering Las Vegas hasn't had normal week of business in over a year. In 2019, Las Vegas recorded over 42 million visitors, a uh, far cry from the only 19 million that made their way to the city last year um, as this virus raged in. Although, to be honest, uh, there are thousands and thousands of cities in the world that would be uh, happy to get f even 5 million visitors a year to boost their tourism and so on. Now, for years, public transportation has been struggle for Las Vegas visitors. Limited options combined with high prices have made walking around the city a more viable option. However, the LVCC loop from the Boring Company won't break the bank and it will get visitors from point A to point B in a fraction of the time. Projections estimate that the loop will move 8,000 people every hour. For now, Las Vegas uh, Convention Center Loop will transport passengers across the Convention Center campus that spans 73 acres big.
Um, eventually, Vegas visitors and residents will have the ability to go from resort to resort and uh, hotel to hotel uh, uh, attraction places thanks to the boring company's Vegas Loop. More hotels and resorts continue to seek entrance into the Vegas Loop, with the most recent being Resorts uh, World, located just off the um, Vegas uh, Strip. Now, um, that kind of looks great. I like what I see about this testing at the Boring Company. The ride, it looks very cool, smooth, uh, and this is a clean type of transportation. So it looks really great. I would like to see what you think, friends, about this. It's easy to imagine tunnels like this integrating with roads above ground and navigating autonomously. City driving will be transformed in the future uh, because of tunnels like this. And I, uh, I would Im even envision that more companies like the Boring Company will come forward, more businesses like this will emerge. And I will not be surprised if the Boring Company will have more competition around the world in the next five to 10 years. Now, if Tesla can use minibuses or Tesla electric vans at the Las Vegas or other boring company tunnels, it will probably be easier to enter and get out because Tesla then can serve more passengers at a time and there won't be need for drivers. Um, but you have heard that I've reported before that Tesla may have a van soon uh, that was revealed by officials of the uh, uh, Las Vegas and other places where Tesla is intending to build tunnels. So don't be surprised if you see a Tesla van coming in the next uh, three to five years. Now, but I'm pretty sure um, Tesla van is coming. Tesla has its hands full at the moment, but a people mover has probably always been part of the company's master plan. I meant people mover in like, uh, like as, a, as a phrase, people mover. So also keep in mind, please, that this is a test. The system will not stop in this configuration. Tesla continuously upgrades itself. Faster speed and autopilot will be there soon. I mean, the full self-driving, more people in the cars, faster loading time, new kind of Tesla van like uh, uh, vehicles will also involve or evolve. Any problems will be mitigated over time. Um, how fast? You can tell me in the comment section. Um, by the way, please subscribe to our channel while you're listening because I'm going to keep a finger on this post, uh, my, uh, on the post and bring you more information on this. Uh, now, I have a question. Will the autopilot be there soon? I mean, uh, Tesla's full self-driving FSD. Sure, it will be what happened to the million robot taxis that were supposed to be on the roads at the end of last year. So we're looking forward until Tesla brings this all together. In case, in, in fact, speaking of robot taxis, look at my previous report on Baidu Apollo Go robot taxi. They're planning to build uh, to have 3,000 cars in 30 cities within three years, driverless, 3,000 driverless cars within three years in 30 cities. Now back to boring companies, Las Vegas loop test uh, and ride. This is a very controlled environment and much easier for AI to safely navigate. Yes, soon, but I um, qualified uh, uh, but I qualified that with soon uh, meaning possible a few years, mainly due to regulations and proving, proving it safe. I mean, for the robot taxis to operate here. In this environment, they can actually make the cars communicate with each other. That improves operations dramatically. If the lead car in a chain shows, then uh, slows, then all can slow together. Drivers must react one at a time. This is kind of going to be very different. What I like about the Boring Company's Las Vegas Loop is that it's a clean transportation. But to me, this gets interesting when autonomous driving gets involved. Until then, it's just a road tunnel of which there are many. As of right now, um, they have only created a subsurface transit system with the most operators per passengers that has ever existed. Not exactly a record you want to hold for long, not much of a showcase for full self-driving either. Without automated ops like TBC4 will only be, um, the boring company will only be doing short run electric vehicle tunnels for private electric vehicles and maybe IC cars as well, like gas cars and industrial tunnels, uh, which may be still a good business. Um, the inside of the Las Vegas loop looks pretty nice, clean. My uh, concern is how will Tesla, uh, the boring 
Holding Company and the LVCC loop operators keep uh, uh, the, like uh, drunk people and uh, some psychos from destroying the interiors of autonomous cars. Probably they will use outside and inside cameras and have good security at the tunnel. Um, also, based on how Elon Musk companies tend to flow, I would predict three more projects at least starting in the next five years and perhaps five for the five after that, um, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in terms of Miles Duck, the multiple could get really crazy. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are. I gathered some of these thoughts from the comments uh, under Tesla Radi article, very interesting comments. Uh, what do you think about this test? Uh, are you in Las Vegas areas? Do you have videos? Have you participated in the test? So share with me any information you may have or any tips. In the meantime, we're hiring Tesla and electric vehicle reporters. If anyone is interested, please contact me and also, um, subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news uh, ring the bell share in social media please like this video and i'll see you soon in our next report this is armin harian from torknews.com have a great day god bless you everyone and peace be with all of you